you're in for a treat today with this Melo Eta balance team. Let's hop right into it. So team building with Jam as we do. So we're going to use this team right after this uh, team builder, which shouldn't be too long. Um, Similar-ish structure uh, from last one. I had a few variations that I was toying with as I quickly built this. However, I decided just to focus on Meloetta versus like the other slots down here. And at the same time, try some new things. Believe me, Arscarada is the OU again, um, which is super interesting because in the beginning, Mi Arscarada was, I think, the most slept on of the starters. Um, people were on Skeledurge and Quake of Val a bit more, uh, even though you guys don't remember Quake of Val was getting love in the beginning. And then, uh, yeah, it went to Skeledurge on the rise, and then Mi Arscarada came up. I think I had a big piece to do with the Mi Arscarada rise. Um, indirectly, Mav having a big piece because I had gotten number one with that uh, Mia Scarada team. And then after that, it just exploded. So it's very interesting to see how things have come full circle considering it's probably the weakest of the three trio. Anyway, uh, and with the Protean uh, nerf, imagine if it still had that, right? But yeah, Meloetta is an interesting pick, right? Because... It's funny because uh, none of the mons, none of the moves I'm using actually have a secondary effect, so you know can't really take advantage of that serene grace ability. However, I still think it has a lot of benefits. We're rocking Psy Shock uh, to hammer away at those pesky uh, special wall builds, right? So you know, namely uh, a a Claude Zire can get chopped in half with a quickness. Um, Slow King Galar can get chopped in half the quickness at least quicker because uh, that's the only real benefit Psy Shock over Psychic. It also helps with Enamorous if we have a mirror matchup situation. It helps with Cresselia because you know a lot of those pesky Cresselias like to run uh, Terra Poison these days so it helps with that. So those are some of the, the things. Dazzling Gleam, I thought long and hard pause about what secondary move to use here. Right, We could have gone with Thunderbolt, but then Tinglu exists now, so that's no longer uh, something we can depend upon. Uh, Shadow Ball was an option. I'd be completely walled by a. Uh, I mean, I was thinking about like, uh, I can trap Gambit, I suppose, so do I really need to not have Shadow Ball? Uh, and then in the case of Samurai, people always sack it turn one, so it's one of the few dark types that I won't really care about. So there's a case for Shadow Ball here, truth be told to you. Uh, Shadow Ball has its is it pulls its weight. Uh, Meloetta can destroy Goldengo if the situation is appropriate because it has such an astronomical spadef stat. But we'll see. We'll we'll play by ear and see if Dazzling is better. Uh, because the thing is, I think I'd still go with Terra Fairy, so I wouldn't get any stab off the Shadow Ball anyway. I don't think Terra the Ghost would be the route I'd go. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. Anyway. As we proceed, uh, we go to Magnus Zone. So the partner here, we're going for some trap in action. We're going to be trapping all them Gambits, all them Corviknights, all of them. You know, it's very surprising how little Magnus Zone is used, considering it actually genuinely has, like, legitimate functionality. Like, it's just liter lich literally, literally that guy, you know, literally that guy. You're going to be packing something simple, a Soul Vest. Uh, this wacky spread you see, enough speed for max speed gambit if it's not jolly. Uh, if it's jolly, I'm not pumping that much speed to, to make it timid. If you're jolly, bro, you're jolly. And I have Moltres as backup. But, um, <clears throat> special attack honestly was just pumped in there after all these other things. So I looked at the, the, the team builder to run some calcs and they had some version of this spread in there. And I was like, you know, screw it. I ran a few calcs and bold. This does a one shot, which is crazy. I think I have the calc up here. Yeah. Now this is this is no HP gambit, eating up body press seventy three to eighty seven. We forget that this thing is bulkier than damn one twenty defense. Like we, like I, I'm well. By we, I mean me. Like I completely forgot that thing was that bulky. One twenty, man. Jeez. And a nice base 100 HP. So that thing is dying to nothing. Uh, 
and then it has a great offensive typing for the tier and whatnot. So it's, it's just a menace. Love it. Uh, then put it on this team though. So before I go to Magnet Zone, Magnet Zone typically is going to be one again trap two things, Corviknight and King's Gambit, and two something that baits both those Pokemon in often is Miarskarada. So Miarskarada is the pairing we're going with here. It does tend to force Steel types in, namely again Corviknight uh, and Corviknight and what's his face. Now, one thing that could be concerning as I'm looking at this, and I will see if I'll if it's relevant enough to do, but you know, Zapdos does seem like a pest. So I was debating whether or not to put Ice Spinner on Tusk or put some kind of pads on Miascarada instead of Boots, so that I don't have to deal with that pesky little vermin. Uh, trying to static me, but we'll play by ear and see if, if it needs if it's that necessary then fuck it You know what I'm saying because Moltres wasn't on the team until like two seconds before this team builder so and slow bro wasn't here either So it had a slightly different structure when the first four were there then I modified it slightly for variation and for um, Just a bit more coverage uh, Moltres could be removed, I suppose. Uh, I could even I have another Zapdos. I could have my own Zapdos there, which would help a bit better. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Moltres I like, uh, but it's not necessary on this build, I don't think. But yeah, Ice Beam, Slow Bro is going to be there for backs, Dragon Knights, and to provide that future sight to lure in them pesky dark types from my Miascarada Magnezone. So if your Gambit doesn't want to come, it's going to come in today or I will be trapping you. Uh, we'll see Future Sight is necessary. It might be superior to run a stab like Surf or something. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Again, moment by moment. Day by day. We shall figure out how to play. That, that was nice. You can't even, you can't even be mad. That was nice just uh, and then Moltres is the final partner. Uh, Moltres is just really good in the meta right now as far as just typical things that are common, right? Namely, your Enamorouses, your Valiants, your, <clears throat> excuse me, your Enamorous Valiants, Sneezlers, even though Sneezler hexes, um, Zamazenta. It's just a phenomenal all-in-one, all-encompassing beast. Your Dragonite's Wisped. You're no match, you know? So unless you're a Bax Caliber, and even some of those <clears throat> have been running Ice Body, so those aren't even safe. Mulch is just an all-around baller. Great to us, no need to explain. And we're always also running a Hazard Stack component to this as well to apply that extra layer of pressure. So all that being said, I am pumped to hop into this. Hit the subscribe button and the like button, my guys. I know I have not been reminding you because I forget my damn self, but... Hit the like button down below if you're excited for this live. If you've appreciated the team builder thus far, it's time for the academy to grow. Um, as we start off with the stall, it's not quite stall. It's like it's like it's like I wouldn't even call it a Walmart stall. I, it's like it's it's a midway between luxury stall and Walmart stall. <laughs> Like it's not it's not off brand enough. Like Walmart stall would be like a Avalug and a and a Appleton, but still pesky as fuck. All right, and a damn Alolan Muck or some shit. This is solid enough. It's just it's just off brand, you know, slightly. Anyway, let's see. Meloetta is quite dangerous in this. If I trap his zone, I Meloetta just fucking <laughs> chomps on bro. So let's see, uh, cause if it's funny if if he terra's at Clodzire, I can trap it. Terra steals, I can trap him. So uh, <clears throat> he also I also have the spikes going for me. Uh, one would assume C Cinderace can never do anything. T, T spikes are annoying. I do have to want be wary of him having toxic spikes. But beyond that, so let's say Cinderace. Um, what's his face? This, um, Miascarada is really problematic for him, so we're gonna use that to our utmost, especially with the spikes. 
Uh, Great Tusk is very frustrating for him as well, more so than anything else, I think, which forces in the Corviknight, which is blessed. Uh, Magnazone needs to be kept until that Corviknight is mine, unless he Terra's. Slow bro, it's just slow broing. Um, Future Sight plus. We'll see, man. This is an interesting situation. It's an interesting situation. So what we're going to do is Tusk, Tusk is the, the best bet. Um, if he has T-Spikes and Toxic, it's a, a little problematic. Tusk is, is too good to let it get toxic here. Um, free zone, there's really no downside. If he Toxic Spikes, so be it. Plus, I could be Headlong Rush and put this boy in a pack. And so if he's not careful, he will be put in a pack. Uh, I doubt he'd ever go hardcore right here, but as I said, he could get put in a pack here. Like Bandit headlong rush is not so uh, okay, so he does anticipate potential headlong rush. As I doubt, let me think. What's my best play here? Let's say the Claudia comes in because Claudia can toxic too, and Claudia is not like, the greatest matchup for me now that I'm looking at it, as far as being in. So. What don't I need to be? So he's shown Surf, probably Recover, <clears throat> maybe Haze. Um, so he has Toxic or Toxic Spikes. Uh, he knows I'm AV, I would assume, based on that damage. Just need a little more data. And I'm thinking it through. I believe Slowbro getting poisoned isn't the end of the world. I want to be patient with this game. So it's T spikes, which is worse for me. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. There's 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 upsides and downsides. I, I'm going to be patient with it because I can spin at any point. So if he's T spikes, he might not be toxic, which matters, but doesn't at the same damn time. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> this this is interesting though. Um, I definitely have the tools. Honestly, what I'm scanning for is to see how he stops my Meloetta once I get this party started. Uh, so Sludge Bomb. Okay. So he either does not have Recover or... Um, I'm glad that I scouted out that Sludge Bomb, truth be told. Uh, I shouldn't even be letting Zone take this much damage. Uh, I need Sludge Bomb the second time, but you know what I mean. So Slowbro is boots, Smearscrata is boots. Really Meloetta and Tusk are the only thing affected by T-Spikes. The future side is gonna come, which he died to. So I'm gonna Volt Switch here. I doubt he'd Cloudy, he's probably gonna Blissey. And I want the positioning on Bliss so that I can start getting the party started with this. Now let me see, what do I wanna do? He actually goes to Gastro, which surprises me. Um, not really, I guess. Gastro actually made sense. I actually forgot he had a Gastro down. So he spikes. Very surprising decision there. What do I want to do here? Remove item as I'm staring down picks. That's my best bet. Remove item or spike. Picks is definitely boots. Everybody's probably boots. Um. So if I knock first, it's Covert Cloak, so it wasn't Boots, which means he's um, Sludge Bombing, which is fine. We'll do this again. So I'm trying to think, is there a, a blind spot I'm not aware of? So if, if you weren't to stop my Magna, you don't want my Magna Zone doing the same thing it just did again. Um, there's not too much he can do to stop it. If he serves here, so be it. What I'll do is his body... Oh, I see he has spikes up. Uh, what stops? I can body press here. Yeah. Okay, please do a lot. Oh my goodness, that's good damage. So Blissey is chopped. I forgot about the spike. I took 74% for no reason. So now Gastrodon slash Cloudsire comes in, which is fine. I'll reposition into Miascarada. Actually, Toxapex. Toxapex was a crazy play there. 
Um, very surprising Toxapex play, but hey, it is what it is. As Blissey comes in, he doesn't know I have body press on this too. Let's see how much this does. 58, I'll take that. Which means who can come in here? Sawboil, future site. He might stay in here and uh, sawboil one more time. All right, to take the future site plus sawboil. So nobody else has to take it. Problem is he's gonna die. Uh, so here comes the Corviknight, which is blessed. Obviously you gotta double out. Obviously, but this slow bro is a massive problem with the future sight. So he may wisp. Uh, there's certainly a case for it because it would, would weaken my body press, which is giving him trouble. Um, and he'd have very little to risk. That, let's say if I go Cinderace, Cinderace is fine. So Apex is just crazy to me. I guess not. I mean, Pex is going to have to take this future sight. Uh, I get to Willow Wisp him. So he leaves it in. So he forgot about the future sight, I'm sure. Um, now be patient. Because that Meloetta again is king. Sludge bombs. Finally gets the poison, which is fine. Cinderace is okay. So he's gonna let Gastro take it. Okay, fair enough. So I get this young spike up um, to punish that Toxifex. He actually goes to Clawzire, which is a wild play. Clawzire is an absolutely crazy wild play hmm how do I want to do this because Claude Zyre is in his spiker so I'm like well what is the Claude Zyre supposed to do here I could remove the Claudie's item which how, what would that punish though Thinking about the long term, I don't think it's relevant enough. Claudius is not significant enough. He has Poison Jab, which is interesting. It's just not a significant enough Pokemon to warrant. Um, so Future Sight, Miarscarada, which is interesting, unless he has like something to hit this. Because right now the Future Sight is up and it attacks next turn. So what are his Future Sight switching options? Uh, Corviknight. He leaves it in. I guess I'm not super surprised by that. Did I need to U-turn there? Uh, I mean, I can do it an infinite amount of times. So that's the thing about it, right? It's like, I can do this again. I could have went, um, say, Earth Powers. I can do it again. Say so it's Terra Grass. Okay, so I finally forced a Terra on this. I finally forced a Terra, which means Claude Zyre is now susceptible to my... Um, is now susceptible to my um, and I can rapid spin it at any point it's not susceptible to my um, what's it called Claude Zyre is not susceptible I wonder if recover here Claude Zyre is not susceptible to my um, thinking of the future side again Future side, he's shown Ice Beam. So you can't touch Moltres. There's no reason not to. Uh, he Ice Beams here. <clears throat> into Moltres. Um, he actually spikes. I'm surprised by that. Um, <clears throat> and now we're staring down. Round two, round two, round two. Let us see. One thing I was thinking about, I'm going to start recording these early in the day. It's 6 am now, when, is when I usually, the videos would go public. But, I, you know, saving these, particularly on days when I have to build a team, towards the end. Like, I have almost no mental anything remaining, which isn't ideal for the videos. Plus, I'm a bit out of tune with the meta, so those, that combo 
is usually when I feel I enjoy the lies the least or when they're the worst in terms of just overall just destruction of opponentness because um, as I'm scanning the thing uh, that's always when I can tell I'm getting rusty but that's aside I need to to set some time aside to to play I wanted to wait until the um, see what's going on with this gambit suspect before I did but I suppose we'll just get the party started this could be scarf risk versus war this is what I mean like risk versus war there's a play I could make there are plays I could make that cover for every situation here well, honestly I, I just don't trust these goobers enough to one switch out but two to even know to not fucking sack their samurai you know what I'm saying that's what I'm talking about that shit right there is literally why I did not switch this shit right there cause I could have went around and done all the other stuff but I wouldn't have cut, killed this samurai that quickly and easily quickly and easily this boy is a problem right here well if he's special uh Thunderbolts. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. You've mixed, bro? You mixed? Terra Electric. He is mixed. I was just talking shit and this fool is actually mixed. Oh boy. <laughs> He's actually mixed fucking close combat. Uh that's funny as shit. Now I'm glad Moltres didn't die. And he's fucking terrible. Like you cannot make this shit up, bro. Like of all the combinations of things he could have been. That now means my Meloetta is um, finished. But, you know, took damn near nothing from CC. He's really mixed fucking Terra Electric. Is Moltres really that common right now? Like, that's what I'm talking about. I need to, to tap in, tune in, turn on with the metagame. So him um, him burning my... Uh, it's funny, he's not going to attack. Mm, I could Terra. If I Terra this, what else would I Terra? I forgot I'm a fairy type and he already terra So this is finished. He can't tear a game. Yeah, this is finished. He's going to feel like a fool here. I actually knew he wouldn't attack me. But on the out chance he did, I don't have anything to properly revenge kill. I wouldn't be shocked if he forfeit. Uh, Bro said no. Bro said no, Jam. I ain't no quitter. I don't think he can one-shot me, Arscrata. Uh Moltres is critical for the other two. And slow, bro. If he one shots me, I screw I'm finished. Because I know he's belly drumming. Well, I don't think he can one shot slow run. I could future side stall, but you know. You know what I'm saying. So. Mellow dies. To, actually, I might not die to Jet. From 80 with the amount of defense I have, I might not die. Uh, Ozzy has about the same amount of defense. They're the same base power, meaning side shock and, and dazzling gleam. Oh, I fainted. I fainted. Yo, watch this big crit, bro. It's about to get. Bro, it's about to get the biggest crit of all time. Nah. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, my brother. So, you turn here or harden to that tusk. Harden to this tusk. Because tusk is there for this reason. I do want to be mindful of that gold angle. But he's already terrored, so. Uh, man, I crit him. Alright, so last game of the day. Very cool team. Very, very cool team. We fell to Basculesian yesterday. Basculesian had its way. But I will not have it, have, allow it to have its way today. Especially because he has no motherfucking zone answer. Jeez, 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 jeez. If he didn't have a, a population bomber, I would have mellow, mellowed, mellowed him. I do a Moltres to burn things. Moltres is wondrous, wonderful, wonder amazing. Zapdos is a crazy lead. Because what you're going to do now. I click Thunderbolt here. What do you do? Good body press. But going Gambit is a wild decision. I don't want to Volt Switch. Because my positioning is so impeccable. If bro has Heat Wave. I'm out of here. If bro has Heat Wave. I'm out of here. Because there's no. You got no business having Heat Wave on a rain team. You should be Thunder. Volt Switch. Yeah. That did a lot to me. Oh, I'm not. It's not quad resisted. So that makes sense. This is a concern, actually. Thunder did a little bit more than I'd like. And he keeps hitting them. What the fuck, dude? He's going to roost back up. He's doing way too much. Actually, he dude hit three thunders in a row. He was spexed. 21 per Nah. Oh, his specs would do more, wouldn't it? 21% 20 to AV zone. 
I mean, he weakened the shit out of me. I'm no longer a gambit counter, that's for motherfucking sure. Um, that is for motherfucking sure. Hmm. Uh, Nearscrot is forcing in Pelipper. Which I think I gotta do. Dang. Okay, come on, Pelipper. Get your rain up. Get your rain up, bro. Question is do I want to remove. This is useful for his grin. I wouldn't die to U-turn. I died to Hurricane, though. Hurricane would be a wild play, though. But I guess if he has that Water Shuriken stuff, the Greninja could become a problem. Um, so what I'll end up doing, he will bro will mouse hold. That is wild. That is some wild, wild West activity. Hmm. Slow bro would body press. I prefer to keep Mo. If I go Moltres, he's just gonna go to one of his water types. I like, I like slow bro here because it encourages him to stand. Right. I figured he'd do exactly what he just did. So two of the biggest concerns. Well, offensively, the basket lesion. What's him gonna do? Phantom Force. Fuck's this going bro? Let's slack off here. No way wave crashes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's actually problematic. Why the fuck would I risk slow bro there? I didn't think wave crash had any chance of killing me. Secondly, um, what I didn't respect as well was was um shit. What I didn't respect as well was the I'm Terra Water, right? Okay. I guess it doesn't matter no more. Could go Moltres and Wispin and Terra. Would I Terra anything else? Nope. Forgot I was Terra Water. But the Slowbro play wasn't correct. I should have just sacked my Magnezone. Forgive me for my wildness. Of course we miss. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. So this could lose me the game. That miss right there. Because he's not burnt if he's Life Orb. I, I literally could have just lost the game right there. Um... <sighs> because now I'd be able to go Miar Scarada. <sighs> oh god. This is. Because we saw that the other guys are on Battle Bond, and I need this to be at full. Okay. What would I need to do to ensure that the no bullshit happens? So what I'm going to do is Roost turn one. So he's spec he's life for a pump and that's what he opted for. I can't let him get a boost. This is where life four plus burn right now, night and day game. Um okay, so he's gonna get our burn one way or the other. So rain turns. So he hydro because because that's all he has to hit me our scarada. More roost again. Should hydro the again this turn. Or ice beam. Grass nuts. So now I've conditioned him to where he's gonna grass nut. Cause what I don't want is for him to get a boost and I can't deal with it. He pumps. If he has that one move, shurikening, then it would kill me here. Yeah, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. It's that bullshit that I'm talking about. So if he has dark pulse, I'm pretty sure it's ice beam. Yeah. So Pelipper's get to substitute here, which is blessed forces and gambit. Has he terrored yet? He has not terrored yet. So I want to be careful of the gambit. Fortunately, he hasn't gotten a lot of kills either. Um, so that matters because the gambit can. Uh, the gambit's katao isn't that strong. Because if he goes hard gambit here, I'm gonna hard switch into Moltres. So it does go Gambit. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Bro got lucky. I've shown you Willow. Are you Terrifier? Brother. What is you doing? What are you doing, my brother? Um, 
I say that because if he is should still to the can. I crit him there, which is whack for him. But he was never getting past Great Tusk. Even if he's Terra Flying, uh, he'd have to infinitely outplay the the um, the. I need this to ensure that the Basque Legion doesn't um, beat me. Mascarada is dangerous as fuck right now. Give up zone. Kotaos. So we're gonna see if he's Terra. Um, If he tears this, he's finished. All I'd need to do is, uh, I was thinking if I if it was worth knocking off there, because they would, uh, in case he randomly teared. My great tusk is no longer required. So let's say that, because his 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 um Greninja is a bitch. So I'll rocks first to sack tusk. Um, it forces Greninja to die, faint, perish, uh, and then Moltres beats the last two. Um, Basquilesian. Basquilesian could be Terra Ghost, I suppose. Terra Ghost, um, Swiss Swim or something. What could the Basquilesian do? Hmm. The Pelipper pull something off crazy. Uh, let's see what the best collision could be. So Hydro Pumps gets the Battle Bond, but faints. So the Legion comes out. What is he going to do? Terra Water. If he Terra Water Wave crashes, I could be in trouble. So I'll go hard tusk and it's Terra Water Wave Crash. Which is why I switched out. I wonder if that kills me. If it does, I deserve to lose. It doesn't. The mellow at least the mellow comes through to the to the clutch to the end. To the end. Let's see him here in case some weird shit occurs. Forget eaters. I don't think he can break my sub. I probably don't even need the sub, but you know. Why not? Plus one. Yeah. So. Roosts. We side shock spam. Side shock's doing 37%. Didn't matter what I did. But yeah. Um, that's where we're going to leave it, folks. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.